hello everyone today we are going to work on this weapon swapping so when I go closer I get the notification press E to swap AK with M16 so when I press E uh, the AK goes back to that position and M16 comes to my hand so I can shoot with that weapon alright so Initially, we will be working on how to set up this notification uh, and then after that I'm going to work on the actual swapping part in the next episode. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support. So in the in this uh, Unreal Adventure series under dynamic control tips tutorial I showed you guys how to implement this uh, rich text data table enabled uh, tips widget uh, to show the tips so I have uh, imported that same widget widget tips into the third person shooter series so I'm going to reuse that widget uh, to show uh, the control tips that means now I'm I want to implement weapon swapping uh, for uh, for this uh, character that means uh, let's say first my character has uh, another weapon uh, at the moment I have the same weapon but that's okay so if I walk uh, next to another weapon we should get a notification that saying a tip that saying press E to swap whatever the gun I have in hand with the other gun so even though this is the same we, it should happen for different weapons so in order to show that tip I am going to use this widget tips use a widget and here I am using this dt rich text rich text data table so that I can use a different color to show the input uh, that we have to press in order to swap the weapon or whatever the tip we have to show so if you want to learn how to create that you can refer to this video I'll put the link in the description below right uh, now the next part is we need a way to get the input uh, whatever the button for button uh, for a particular action or input axis as well so for that we implemented the same thing in the adventure series based on uh, we implemented implemented a function to get input keys in the player controller so at the moment I am using the default player controller so let's create a player controller here let's call it mm -hmm, player controller word like me okay and also we need a blueprint interface for that as well to make communication easier PPI player controller here I'm gonna define a new function get input so here we need to give the input name as a string and we need to get the output also output would be the keys input keys that also needs to be a string and so I'm going to use the newly created player controller here so right, it doesn't make any difference for the moment everything is working as usual right so now let me open the new player controller and implement that PPI player controller then we get this get input interface 
so I'm gonna copy and paste the code we have implemented in the previous adventure series to get the inputs so here is that code let me copy that I'm not gonna explain it again here because I have already explained that in the other video right so get in piece pasted here um, okay so done So to this function. So yeah, you again if you want to do no take a detailed look into this function, you can refer to the other video. Right now let's get into our main thing, which is replacing the gun. First let me change the gun character already have to something else. Yeah. Actually, for the player, let's set it to the default value, which is AK. Right now, when player starts, it has the AK gun. When it goes here, it should get the notification. But in order to get a notification, we need to have some way. Mm, so let's add. Uh, Rocks collider here. Maybe a little. Uh, let's make put it under as a child object of the gun mesh. Let's rename this. should be larger right should be enough okay it doesn't have any problems even though we have attached a gun into the player as well now they do look ugly here can't we disable visibility yes Now it looks fine. Okay, so when player enters here, here I'll. What is the position setting we have? Overlap or dynamic. Let's set it to overlap only pawn. Right, and by default. I set generate overlap events to false and uh, in the begin play event let's check uh, let's get parent actor so if this gun is attached already attached to a character that means this gun already in this hand in the hand of the character then we will get a valid reference here and if we don't have a valid parent actor that means it's a gun like this that is not currently attached to picked up by any of the character so if that is if it is not valid that means this gun should be available for picking up so here I'll set mm -hmm, over, generate overlap events to true. Okay. Now, when this gun is overlapping with any of the players, let's say. Component begin overlap. 
So we need to first check if the other actor is the player. But first, in order to check if we get receive the events, let's print the name of the character. So when I, when I go near that object, I should get the object name of the player character printed into the top left corner and it didn't right why is that oh sorry here this should be connected to not valid not to the valid output right now let's see right here we got the notification and also one more thing we need to make sure this overlapping actor is also the player character so to know that we have API character here do we have any function to say if it is the player no we have his enemy okay let's add another function under bpi character is player and this should return a boolean value which says yes or no so okay now here under interfaces we have is player so here let's simply is controlled is player control let's return the result of this one this will return true if this actor is this character is currently possessed by the player right now under here let's is player using the BPI character interface let's check if this is the player the branch if yes then only let's print the name now here still we should get the name printed and yes we got it now we need to show a notification like press F to swap this weapon with that weapon but for now, uh, let's go to the project settings under input. What do we have? Primary weapon, secondary weapon. Right, so for now, let's add an action interact. Maybe simple. Yeah, interact. And as the key, I'll use E. And here let's just forget about swapping part for now and let's only print mm, oh wait we still haven't added this widget tips into the into the hud so we are already using hud shooter here right here do we have our interface yes vpi ui here let's add a function just like in the other tutorial show tip here we need a string that says what the tip is and a float timeout which says how long this tip should remain in the screen right now we need to implement this in our hut shooter show tip oh wait do i already have it
<coughs> so this event is also already implemented in my other tutorial so I'm just gonna copy paste it here right so that event is a uh, event is also copy pasted mm. now I should be able to use this in here so first we need to get player controller and then get alt can do it show tip is in bpi ui here so what's the tip press e to pick up weapon so let me do a append here press then we need to switch the text style to input mode so add input here should here we need the input key so for that get from player controller get input we need to get the input key for the interact interact here goes the key and after that we need to close the style to pick up whatever the weapon we have here so let's add another pin here let's define we have gun type let's use it right now let's test okay we got press a e to pick up m60 there should be a space out to pick up okay now we get the notification correctly the next part is implementing the actual pickup part okay so i'm going to stop this episode right here and let's implement the actual picking up part in the next episode right and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download through patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club See you in another episode. Goodbye.